This video is for a Christian woman that wants to submit to your husband, but you are afraid to allow him to take the lead. In this video, I'm going to share five tips with you to help you overcome the fear of submitting to him. Tip number one, submit to God. Submitting to God for me is telling the Lord yes. I want his perfect will for me. It's very important to me to be led by God. Even some of the things that I desire, if it's not God's will, I don't want it. Tip number two, allow your husband to be the head. Now, God is our head. And even though he is the head of our life, God don't try to control us. I mean, he talks to us, but we have a choice. And that's one thing that our husbands have to realize is that even though that we are submitting to them, it doesn't mean that they get to control our life. We are not children. God created us and he does allow us to make our own decisions. So with being a submissive wife, I do consider my husband in whatever decision that I'm making with my life. And I do want his approval, but there have been times to where I didn't have his 100% approval. For instance, a couple of years ago, when I decided that I wanted to start a YouTube channel and I talked to my husband about it. And at first he wasn't in agreement with it because from the fact that we are very private and he's seen how the way other people do on social media, especially Facebook. And so I guess he just assumed that it would be like that for me. So even though this is something that I'm doing for myself, I still wanted my husband approval. I wanted us to be on one accord. So I prayed to God about it. And I remember telling him that if it's your will, allow my husband to give me my blessing because I just really didn't want to do this without his blessing. So I remember talking to my husband about it again. And when I talked to him about it again, he wasn't still behind me 100%. But I do remember telling him that I felt that this was God's will for me to do this. And once I told him that, he felt a little better about it. And I did promise him that I wouldn't be telling all of our personal business that this is something that I'm doing for God, not for myself, not to be seen. The main thing I want you to understand is that even though I am a submissive wife, the same way God don't try to control us. He tries to direct us and he talks to us, but he don't force us to do what he say. He don't force us to even listen. And so that's the same thing with your husband. He shouldn't try to control your life or treat you like a child, but you do want to respect him and respect his opinion about the decisions that you make with your life. And you do want to be in agreement with him. Your husband doesn't have to be in agreement with everything you do in order to be a submissive wife. But the main thing is that I think that before you make a move, you should always consider and talk to your husband about it first and get his opinion. And I do know that the reason why a lot of Christian women don't want to submit to their husbands because they feel like that their husband doesn't make good decisions. And if that is the case with you, you're still going to have to learn how to trust him. And because you guys, that's why before you marry someone, that's one of the qualities that you want your husband to have. You want to make sure that he is able to make good decisions with his life before you even marry him. That's very important. Tip number three, 
allow him to make mistakes. Now, you've got to be fair about it because even in your life, you make mistakes and you're going to make more mistakes. So when your husband make a decision for your family and if things don't turn out the way you guys expected, don't be hard on him. Treat him like you want to be treated. Have patience and try to stay calm. And don't say, I told you so. <laughs> Tip number four, you can't always have your way. And I know it's hard because I love to have my way. And most of the time I feel like I am right, but I am learning now that I'm not always right. I can't always have my way, even though I feel like it's killing me when I can't. So don't be self-centered or selfish or pout when you can't get your way. When you are single, you can make your own decisions and live your life however the way that you want to. But when you get married, two becomes one. So whatever decision that you make is going to affect you guys' family. I've been married for 29 and a half years. And when I think about my marriage, I have been wrong a couple of times. <laughs> throughout our marriage and of course I thought that I was right but later I found out that my husband was right so what I am learning is that I don't always know what's best for me or what's best for our family and I have finally realized that God is the only one that knows what's best for me some things that I think that I won't, I don't need, and I don't realize that until I get it. Tip number five, trust him. Trust your husband and believe that he wants what's best for you and the family. And if your husband is getting ready to make a decision and you don't feel like it's the best decision for your family, the best thing I would suggest you doing is to pray to God and ask him to intervene and ask him for his will. Because one thing I've learned about God, he is in control and he can turn things around. He has the last say so. And God is a just and a fair God. I have a question for you. Are you afraid to let your husband take the lead? And if you are, I want to know why. If you like my message and you want to support me, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and make sure you click on the notification bell. That way every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, schedule an appointment with me on Candorly. I will have all the information below in my description box. Make sure you tune in next week for episode three of how to submit to your husband. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.